To write the formula for silver hydroxide, let's first write the element symbols. So for silver, that's Ag, if you look on the periodic table. Then you get to this hydroxide. Hydroxide is one you really need to remember. You won't find hydroxide on the periodic table. This is a polyatomic ion, and it's OH, and it has a 1 minus ionic charge. That negative charge, that goes to the whole OH here. So silver hydroxide, silver is a metal, and then this hydroxide, that's a group of nonmetals. This is an ionic compound, so we need to take the charges into account. Because it's neutral, it doesn't have the word ion after it, we need to make sure that the charges balance. Let's look silver up on the periodic table. So silver right here is in with the transition metals, but silver always has a one plus ionic charge. So we're gonna write plus up here. So this is one plus and one minus. Sometimes because silver is here with the transition metals, you'll see this written as silver one hydroxide, but quite often it's just silver hydroxide. So we have our metal, our nonmetals. It's an ionic compound. The charges need to add up to zero. 1 plus, 1 minus, that gives us a net charge of 0. So this is the formula for silver hydroxide, AgOH. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.